Back in town again. Up through the mines. Let's uh, talk to the mayor and get our reward. Stand away, citizen. You have returned. It seems it would seem I was right to trust you. The town thanks you wholeheartedly and is pleased to give you a proper reward. Please take this 900 gold for your efforts. It's a small fortune by anyone's standards. Thank you again. Aha! You bunch of chumps! What the hell do you think you was doing? Yes, well, saving our reputation so we're back at six disliked. That way we won't immediately get attacked and Very killed well. when we enter the soldiers, when we talk with the soldiers in town. I am death come for thee. Oh. Surrender, and thy passage shall be quicker. But are you some kind of failed poet? What? I am not surrendering to anything. Struggle if you must, at one. I do not mind working for my money. Why, Nimble! Has been hard to deal with the likes of you. I'll never know. I will show you justice. Oh yeah, another bounty Again, you hunter. you disturb me. Glory of all. Have any spells? Hurry up! No, let's let's keep him under fire. Oh. Uh oh! You are so irritating. It's your wish. It's... Oh well, good job, Dawn. You should not make a habit of picking fights in the streets, my friend. Be careful when inviting danger into your life. It comes all too willingly. Sorry, I don't have time for more failed, failed poets now. My actions are yours. Now we just have to wait till everyone's done running around in panic. Good job, Dawn. What kind of spell is this? Find familiar! We actually want Skisney to cast that. Or maybe to even just learn that. Let's see, how much are they paying for us now? The money you receive from transit should cover the usual fee. Ah, then they won't even give me a price this time. Ah, so they know our danger, Miss this Mr. Tazak. Throwing axes, those are actually I think I'll put those on the uh, our dwarf friend. Well, get a good view of the town at least. Yep, I'm gone. Yeah, fear can be very annoying. Good spell. Hopefully, if we find the scroll shop, we'll be able to buy it for our mages and then can, they can do it. Oh, and the bounty collector doesn't want to pay us for any more bounties because we tricked him. I sought him. Fine, then I'll just sell the damn damn jewels and get my money that way. Ah, good. Everyone's back to the What would you have me do? If you insist. Get her up. Time for some well-deserved rest, I think. Hello? Yeah, everyone get her up, please. We have everyone, good. If there you go. insist. Never had rats. No sorry. Yeah, you better not have rats. The stone oh. tunnels of the Nashkel mines constrain your dreams tonight. The twisting depths are more a nuisance than claustrophobic now. What with the hidden marauders dead at your feet. Deeper you tread, chuckling over your triumph at each body you see, <laughs> pausing occasionally to wipe your boots clean, 
or check the odd cobalt for coins you might have missed. I never miss There's coins. There's a sound from I'll below, still check them. and you quickly move towards it. A door opens, and before you stands, Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him. Ah. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this specter has apparently been waiting for you. I was hoping for a more gold. A of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope, rightfully so. You brush aside the quaint blade and bring your hands around the creature's yes, neck. It's, it's a stranger's weapon simply will not suffice in this matter. You must be certain this phantom remains among the dead. It is strange, though. Doomed as he is, Mullahe still looks somewhat relieved. His visage fades within your grasp and leaves you clutching at empty air. Ow, my thumbs! A puzzling turn, but of little concern. The mine is yours once again. Yes, time to exploit this You turn to stuff. leave, but find the exit blocked. The lone dagger has become five, a skeletal set of claws that hovers before you. A talon extends and presses against your chest, and a hollow voice chills the air. You should use the tools you are given. Okay. It traces a line of ichor on your tunic, increasing in pressure. Listen to what is bred in the bone. Ow. There's Ow. a flash of motion as the claws push deep into your chest. Ow! You awake in an instant, the sound of mourning a welcome clamor. You're intact, and though tired, you are certainly not afraid. Your heart is not your weak spot. Yes, they always said I had a heart of gold, so that'll be hard to pierce. That dream brought along us another Lalox minor drain. Cool. Your wish? Bit of a more more of a dream that one. Curi very curious. Anyway, we have stuff to identify. Does Edwin actually have Lalox minor drain? Yes. Find familiar. Skizzy wants to learn find familiar. No! Fuck that. I'm half tempted to reload. What other bloody odds? Oh well, uh, hopefully we'll find another scroll. We only need to learn it once. So I want my impy. Well, I think it's a dust merpet. Tal's gift, um, interesting set of boots, gives you lightning resistance. Don't run into lightning that often. He already broke one of his axes, we really need to look for a magical axe. I think the Velipo sells one, we might actually invest in that. Bring all the stuff that needs identifying to Skizni. This is a ring of infravision. Useful, not great. I'll give it to Edwin, why not? It's nice red. Goes with his cloak. D&D fashion police. It's another plus one short sword. These are nice. Boots of cat's grace. Those are actually gonna put on Dawn, since he doesn't have much in the way of his uh, missile defense. And is that all? Hurry up! Hmm, I think that's all. Where to go next? Um, let me think. Baragost is an obvious choice. If you insist. Let's go to Baragost. Track down a transic fellow. See, we have a lot of unexplored wilderness areas. We might, uh, I might find out, find out where that mystery party member is that I want us to do what uh, that I want to join, uh, have joined the party. But that will require some searching, so I'll do that off screen. All right, all right. Oh, there, Wanda. Ooh. 
Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster! Oh dear. What to say about Elminster? He's basically the Gandalf of the Forgotten Realms. Except more annoying. And more overpowered. And he's pretty much the hero of a lot of books because it's kind of the... Uh, I don't know if it's the author insert character of Ed Greenwood, who is the maker of the Forgotten Realms. But he certainly is his main character, uh, so to say. All his books are about him and such. Anyway... Well now, I'll puff cross one cross once more. I suppose proper introductions are in order, as, uh, as we will no doubt meet again. My name is Elminster. I've heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time that we've been apart. It would seem that thou art destined to have quite an impact on the Forgotten Realms. Or the Sword Coast, sorry. Not the entire Forgotten Realms. You're not that level yet. <laughs> Don't steal my hat. Quite a burden for one so young. I did what was necessary, that is all. I am unsure, however, whether the, the distasteful road that thou hast, hast chosen is the result of a sadistic humor or just a path of least resistance. I am very humorous. Oh dear. If thou must indulge thy predatory instincts, at least be sure that they do not take total control. This would be especially dangerous for thee. I will impart one piece of information before I go, though. It is hardly a surprise, I am sure. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit of traveling the north e in the northeast. With this, I shall take my leave. Good. Ooh, I'm totally going now. to steal his pointy hat. Excuse me! Excuse me! Someone at the Jovel Jugger gave me a gold piece to come and find you! Oh, can I have a good piece, uh, piece too? No, it's mine. Curses. Foiled again, my children. Slow down, breathless child. Who's tossing money about in hopes of finding me? It's another one of those bounty hunters. Her name is, her name's Officer Vi, and she's with the flaming fist. And you needn't worry, she's real nice. Well, if she gives people gold, then, uh, yeah, she is very nice. Uh, yes, thank you, child. You earned your gold piece. Can I have it still? No! Uh, I will go to the Joe Valjagger and meet this officer I shortly. And hopefully she'll give me a gold piece too. Good! You folks, uh, you folks are real nice. Mama says the sword girl's gonna need some real heroes these days. Timor will be with you, okay? Yes, we are real nice. Nicey, nice, nice. Nice. Give us money. So the jovial juggler. Let's head there. Can I See assist you? Who? Ah, Skizny. I thought that might be you. These sudden parts are set quite afire with your talk of your work in Nashville. I'm Officer Vi of the Flaming Fist, and be be and to be honest, I could use your help. Let's, let's, let's try to behave. Yes, behave. Uh, I am honored to be found worthy of your notice, officer. In a legal sense, of course. How may I be of assistance? My contingent and I are cut off from Baldur's Gate. We haven't received any new orders for close to a week, and to be honest, I don't like the feel of this at all. The bandit raids have been getting worse since uh, you returned from Nashville. I used to think that they were just the usual brigands out to make a quick buck in troubled times, but not anymore. They're working for someone. One way or the other, I've got to get my troops back to back to the gate. I'll pay you 50 gold for every bandit's scalp you bring to me and spread and spread the news. I want this whole region cleared before winter comes. Ooh. So we just cut off. How? Uh, yes, you insist. Hey, 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 kick it, kick it, What kick would it. you have me? All right, all, all right. right. I have an awesome scheme. We'll just kill hobos, scalp them, and then sell these scalps to her. 
How the hell is she supposed to know what the difference is between a bandit scalp and a hobo scalp? That's pretty good. No, I will not allow that. Uh, spoil spot Your wish, if you insist. Fine. Can I assist you? We have enough scalps from actual bandits that we could sell. You've been busy, I see. Well, keep at it. The more bandit scalps I have, the richer you'll be. I'll take the bandit scalps that you have. Oh, she also sells them. That's the same as the... Yeah, we could have sold them earlier then. Oh well. I think most shops only pay 25 gold pieces for the scalps. There we go. Hurry up! 10,000 gold, not bad. If you insist. All right, all right! But we're actually, we're going to the Veldepost Inn, because, uh, yeah, that note says there's a contact there. And transic. And once we have uh, him interrogated, I think I'm just going to set the wilderness and kill every bandit I find for money. Hello, I'm there, a courtesan. Can I scalp you? How much? Oh, love, you're a chicken monkey, aren't you? Right. Are you interested in some thrills, darling? I love a fighter in full plates. They look, just look so hard. What would you have me yeah, do? Yeah, you can't actually well. sleep with these cards since it sucks. Now, are you transic? If you insist. Duncan, are you transic? Hey, don't click me! <laughs> I don't want any trouble! So the flame of fizz will deal with you now. That's probably not transic. I don't think transic would whine that much. Oh well, just lady, are you transic? Jillian! Do you mind? I'm off to go shopping. Oh, hello! You must join me for a while, I insist! Well, lady, if you lady officer drink, how can I refuse? You are the life of the party, you are! This reminds me of a time when Betsy and I were still... Ooh. Oh, I'm so silly. I don't know, a Betsy. <laughs> right. What fun. Is that what bars are like? Ah, in a war of virtues, thou art unarmed. Watch your words when addressing me, lest they be fed to you on the end of my boot. I hope they won't start fighting. Might eventually replace Bronwyn for someone, but... Uh... I think the someone I have in mind is still a ways and away. He wants a whiskey. What do you have to offer? Oh, actually, speak and be gone. Try I to got keep some up. Cheap beer Let's for you do the dealing. See, I actually, I think I'm going to buy this one. A bit pricey, but uh, he really needs a, a proper magical battle axe. So, boom! Investment made. You better make it back, dwarf. Uh, we'll make all the money with this. Your wish? I don't oh, see well. a transic here. It probably has. All right, all right. Here. Hello, big guy. Are you transic? Algernon. What you want? Probably not transic. If he's named Algernon. This is my room and I don't want visitors. Now leave me here alone, please. Oh, he didn't say please, he's just a jerk. You should put doors in your room if you don't want visitors. Traffic, hey, that's probably get not... Get out of me way, you crummy loghead! Other rooms... Yeah. Oh, I'm wondering, I actually know where Transic is. This is the room Transic has, and that's him. Look like a mage. He might be a mage, but safe. Hello there. Seems to me like these men want a little trouble. I'll give them trouble. I think this was recorded somewhere outside the studio. The way it sounds. Why do you bother me? Can't you see I'm in a hurry to get out of this damn town? Oh! That's Transic! That was the guy uh, Bronwyn uh, got into a fight with. Well, that's good. Stop yapping, dog! 
I have come to punish you for your treachery, for uh, your sniveling ways. Tempest is with me. I'd hoped you'd smarten up some big wench before bothering me again, but I see that you didn't. You think yeah, I'd be afraid of you and these boo bo boars that you free that freed you from the spell? Stupid cow! Hey, that's not nice. Why does everyone call uh, Bronwyn so big? She's big and beautiful, I tell you. Why, if we weren't evil bastards, I would romance her. But we are evil bastards, so that's out. Stupid cow, if you ain't, you ain't to get out of my face within the next five seconds, I'll blast you to kingdom come. You better be sorry and you better never bother me again. Wait, you're Skizny. Well, isn't this a nice surprise? Time to die! Hurry up! I'm glad you tell you say it for us! Tempest! Give us victory! What? My action. See, it's nice that he actually already knows what's going to happen to him. He must be a seer or something. Boom! Dawn made him very, very, very dead. That dishonorable dog is dead! Tempest, your will be that is done! Come, let us drink to Tempus' victory, Skizny. What would you have me do? Very well. Hey, Bronwyn's happy that we killed the person that uh, stoned her. What's this? Is this fine? No, it's Glitterbox. Let's give it to Edwin. He needs to learn a second level spell. Yes, now he has a second. That's good. See, now we can. Yes, we can actually do something on the second level. Spell creates a cloud of glittering gold. Out music. Speak louder then. Golden particles with an area of effect. All enemies in the area must roll a successful saving throw versus a spell or be blinded. Minus 400 attack rolls and armor cost. That's nice. For four rounds. In addition, all enemies who fill their saving throw are covered by the dust and cannot be removed. That cannot be removed and continues to sparkle until it fades, thus revealing invisible creatures. The dust fades in four rounds. That's nice. That's decent, not great, but pretty decent. Well, we know what these two are. One of magic missiles, two can't identify. Yeah, we have run out of identify. One of magic missiles, one of protection, per, of ring of protection plus one. And the note. Trenzik, I am perplexed as to why Malahe has not communicated with us for some time, so for some while. You are to go to the mines and find out the condition of his operation. You are also to collect any iron that may have been stolen by the kobolds. Our next raid is most likely going to take place in Peltfoot, Peltville or Larswood. So visit either of those areas and track us back to our camp. Tazok. Well, I have another clue. Your wish? Peltville all right, all right. and Larswood. For now, let's go downstairs and drink well. with Bronwyn. Brawny woman. And then next time, uh, I'll actually go hunting the wilderness areas for bandits. And links to that bandit camp. You want some whiskey? That's just mentioned there. So till then.